Okay, we are back again with Chris Sanders, our guest tonight on Open Line, and thanks uh, Reverend Fuzz once again for calling in. He's one of our our regular viewers and, and asked some really good questions and is very connected to, to mm -hmm. uh, the community. So we appreciate it. And Reverend, we hope you're doing well and hunkered down like we all are for the yes, most part. And his congregation too. Yeah, uh, wish you really well. Um, what is the latest word that you're hearing as far as, you know, timeline here mm -hmm. for this uh this is obviously throwing everything in but yep. let's just kind of circle back to that yep. as far as how you're going to watch sure what happens the legislature hopes to get out i think by the end of this week yep. I, for all i know they could be in the middle of getting out tonight i yep. know and then they're looking at coming back at june one i would not be surprised if they didn't at some point reevaluate that timeline but i don't think it would right. be before june one but in that Two, yeah. two and a half months, they're still doing things. Well, they are, they're, still they're side, campaigning, side work. Yeah, they're, you well, know, right. um, because many of them are up for re-election. Um, but what the key thing for us is what we do, and we will be doing it all digitally. We won't be holding in-person meetings for quite some time, but we can recruit people from those districts to be ready to talk about these issues with their lawmakers, mm -hmm. um, and a lot of that can be done by phone, email, uh, Skype, conference, you know, on and on and on. We can all get creative, um, but we will use the time to build steadily and prepare. We're not going to take it for granted that bills will just go away. And I would say to any group of citizens who cares about any issue, use this time to plan and use this time to reach out in meaningful ways. No, you can't do it in person, but you can stay connected on the phone, internet, Facebook, etc. At least we have the technology now. We right? do. Um, we do. FaceTiming, whether it's Zoom conferencing, whatever you call it, I mean, it's it's amazing what we can do now. That's right. And stay connected. I, I also hope, though, that the legislature will look at this experience, all our state leaders, and say, what really now are the priorities for our state? That's what I was going to ask you next. If you look at big events, you know, recessions, we've been through world wars, we've been through 9-11 as a country, now we've you know this new as the president calls invisible enemy um, mm -hmm. we're learning so much and having to band together how do you tap into that that sense of gosh our difference we're really more similar than we are different and you know yeah. tap into that sense of spirit and community and i think that's two ways um one we're affected just like you are there are lgbtq people who are getting testing positive for COVID 19 mm -hmm. and sadly will may likely die before it's over with just like other members of the population but we are also the nurses who are taking care of you during this time we are the servers who are bringing you curbside food the stalker at Kroger mm -hmm. who is making sure that you have the basics that you need when you go in however many times a week and we need to be telling those stories in the context of everybody else telling theirs um, because we are part of it. We're part of the fabric of the state, and um, we are pitching in uh, to help our fellow citizens during this time. Mm -hmm. Do you hear from your members who are anxiety-ridden? I do. As I've heard from so many people. A lot of it is economic-related. Like yeah, I have, well, yeah, the jobs. I have friends who mm -hmm. um, own a couple of restaurants who are seeing um, their livelihoods and the livelihoods of their staff torn away businesses they've built over 20 years yeah and i've also i'm also seeing people who don't own the business but work for these businesses who are out of work and have lost as your friend did two jobs just like that so it is heartbreaking and i hope that the government will come through for them, but in the meantime, we're trying to help everybody mm -hmm. access as many resources as they can because they want to work. Yeah, we're gonna take another you know? break, wrap things up right after this with Chris.